Hey YouTube, it's Ashley, back with another haul video. And today's haul is extremely collective. So I've been to some estate sales, I also went to the flea market, and I think that's it. Uh, most of the stuff is estate sale stuff. And my cats are almost definitely going to make an appearance in this video because it's early this morning and they're feeling very adventurous. So right now two of them, uh, the two kittens are playing in the bags that the stuff is in. So I'll get right into it so we can get this going. Hopefully I can fit this all in one video. One estate sale. Um, I just got three items. The first one is this old glass jar from some Tang. Oops, I'm holding that upside down. Um, and I really want to put some beach rocks in this in water because I don't know if you guys have noticed but you'll find a rock that looks really cool on the beach and then it dries and it doesn't even look cool anymore. So that's my idea for this jar. And then I also picked up these two very dirty pieces of Pyrex. Um, they're just like a plate, sort of. I'll probably use them for like when I bake chicken and stuff like that. <clears throat> And then the next estate sale that I went to, I got quite a lot of stuff at. I'll show you kind of in the order that it's in the box, just because that's going to be the easiest way to do it. I'm just moving one of the bags out of the way, so maybe Bianca will stop crinkling it. And now Rufus is in it. So um, I got this book, 1,000, 10,000? 10,000 Garden Questions. I got this little Kodak Basic Develop. Developing, Printing, Enlarging. And if you guys remember from some of my older hauls, I definitely collect Kodak stuff. Uh, this is another one. Kodak Master Dark Room, Dark Room Data Guide for black and white. Oh, there's Rufus. And then uh, at that same estate sale, I also got this Butterwick sewing book. Bianca. She was just like going to town digging in that bag. And I apologize for the lighting, because I'm using natural light, it kind of might go in and out a little bit. Rufus, you're on top of the stuff. Okay. Um, we got these two camera straps. This wrist strap has the little thing that screws into the bottom of the camera. So, just kind of gives you some extra, not protection, but stability if you're holding your camera. And then uh, we also got this really nice leather embossed camera strap. And it just clips on. I got this big box of Kodak photo paper. And I think I opened this one. Yeah, so it's just big sheets of shiny photo paper, 8 by 10 I also got a package of it that's not in the Kodak box like this. Sorry if I'm hitting the, the tripod on the way down. This package right here, uh, which is equally as, actually it's probably more than what's in that box. It's a really thick um, thing of the photo paper. Bianca. I got this Popular Photography Reference Series. Um, it's just a little binder full of photography tips. I got this little container, which I always like the yellow Kodak branded things. Um, I had popped this in there, just one of those little film canisters, and a bunch of spools, which I think at least some of these are going to allow me to use cameras I haven't been able to use before because you can re-spool 35mm film uh, for other cameras. But what was originally in this box is um, some photo paper. This is actually unopened. And then there is a second package in there that is opened. So that's that. Like I said, um, got some Kodak stuff there. A lot of Kodak stuff, actually. This paper I was really excited about. It's postcard paper. So on the back, it looks like a little postcard. And then on the front, it's photo paper. 
So I thought that was pretty neat. I've never actually seen that before. I'm trying to get it back in the box now. Is this going to be a trick? There we go. I want to put that other stuff back in the box too. The little film spools. Okay. And then from a Rolodex that was in the basement, I picked up some index cards and plain pink and green, just all blank index cards. This book just looked kind of neat. Um, Jules Storybook by Clara Louise Burnham. And the name sounded familiar, but I might have just been imagining that I had heard that name before. I got two cassette tapes. Um, George Strait and Randy Travis, some old school country, a hair bar rat, a letter opener, <laughs> give you guys kind of a closer view of that, I just thought that was cool looking. Um, this Tupperware cover, which does fit a container that I already have, it's always good to have an extra lid around. Um, I got this Tupperware container, which I'm pretty sure the little circle part was attached when I got it, so maybe it's in this box somewhere. Um, I picked up this little Kodak book, which I think I have this exact same one, to be honest. And Exercises in General Chemistry. They had some really like scientific and mathematical books at that yard sale. I picked up this cutting board because I just couldn't resist it. Thought it was very cute and 70s. And these are just lens cleaning wipes. I actually have this exact same package somewhere as well. Sorry, the lighting is going again. So that was all from one estate sale. And actually, oh, there's something else in the kitchen from that too. Um, I got two blazers, just a like, not cream, but like off-white linen blazer and a black and white houndstooth blazer. I might end up popping those in another haul just because I don't want to run away from the camera while I'm filming here. Just making sure I get everything back in this box. And then I can move on to the next estate sale, which I got a lot of stuff from also. Excuse me, Rufus. It's just in the bag. That one I also got one piece of Pyrex from. This um, little, like, bread pan looking thing. And this was not actually $3. I'll tell you what I paid for everything once I get through everything. Um, I got this little pocket dictionary, which I thought looked really cute. Uh, this cookbook. This muffin cookbook. This cookbook. This guide to canning. Learn to bake. I definitely still need some help with that. Sorry, trying to get this in the right light here. There we go, that's a little better. Uh, Metropolitan cookbook. Definitely cannot see that at all. There we go. And last one is Rumford Common Sense cookbook. Definitely need to reorganize my cookbook for the cookbooks with all these new additions. Um, I did pick up some Tupperware at this yard sale as well. I found some unique pieces. I've never seen this before. Um, this is, I guess, a jello mold. This part pulls out, and you've got these little stamps of animals. It's got the little animals' faces on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Uh, but you would have the gel in here, and then you would just kind of press in the shape. I could see this being used also for, like, cookie dough. You could just press out the shapes. But I thought that was cute. I got one of these tall shakers. I got three of these pie-slash-pizza keepers. I feel like these are bigger than the ones that I have, but... They might just be the same size, and I haven't looked at them any time too recently. And I just threw those on the floor. Uh, I got a whole stack of this size container, which I'm pretty sure I have this exact same size and shape in this yellow color. Uh, but this also came with 
three orange ones and a green one. No lids, unfortunately, but I do have one lid already that should fit that. Uh, this set of little kitchen funnels. There are three different sizes in there. This has been on my Tupperware wish list for a while. A set of measuring cups. So I'm really excited about these. Definitely need to be cleaned. A kitchen timer. Um, this is going to be my third try in getting a working kitchen timer. The one that I bought last time, no fess, um, does not work properly, so hopefully this one will. It's also really cute. Little sifter. Um, I don't even know exactly what this is supposed to be for, but just to like press a hole in something. Oh, you know what? This is probably for if you're making something with filling uh, to press out the middle. I got some magnets. I got this Minnie and Mickey one, and two Pillsbury ones. Use two Pillsbury ones. I got this pin for my grandmother because she says this all the time. I just thought it was really cute. And a little tea ball. Not that I needed another one, but this one's brand new in the package. So those were um, all the odds and ends, and then I got some jewelry at that estate sale, which I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to try to get some of this out of my way first. <clears throat> Alright, that's good enough. So for jewelry, I got this piece, which is actually an owl from Avon, but it's really cute. I got this set of pearls, which are actually, well, faux pearls, which are actually in really good condition. You guys will remember I got a couple strands uh, a few weeks ago with these nice box clasps. Clasps. I got, I think there's probably like eight or ten of these hair clips. These little earrings. This little rhinestone uh, screw back earrings. I got Bianca, you know there. I got this little sand dollar necklace. This is just a silver chain. There wasn't anything attached to it. I got these little cat earrings, which I'm pretty sure are pewter. I just thought they were really cute. Um, I got Couple little miscellaneous earrings. I'm trying to see, did I get another leaf? Yeah. Two gold leaves and a silver owl, which there was.